The times are interesting. Father, it's not by power, it's not by might, but by your spirit. We depend on you. Give us the grace to be designing. Pray, say, Father, give me the grace to be designing. Father, give me the grace to be designing. Give me the grace to be designing. In these times, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Father, to give us the grace to be designing. In these times, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the gift of discernment. In these interesting times, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Shende de bokura kashada da ba ba ba, reke de bokura kashanda da ba, ora kashende de de bobrokoshi de bo. In the name of Jesus, worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise in this place. Worthy is your name. Jesus, you deserve the praise in our lives. In the name of Jesus, I can hear you. Amen. We're also going to be praying from Psalm 55. It's still on the same. The grace to design. Psalm 55 verse 21. It reads, the words of his mouth were sweeter than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn short. Take note of the metaphors here. For God to let you know that the best of a man is a man, and you can't really know a man. The heart, who can know it? He said his mouth was sweeter than butter. But war was in his heart. Can you imagine someone talking to you and he feels his mouth is sweeter than butter? But in his heart, he had war. That's what happened to David. He thought this were his close companions, his friends. And that's what really broke his heart. He said his words were softer than oil. But that same metaphor describes that they were drawn sort. That's the wickedness of a man's heart. The heart who can know it. So don't joke with this prayer. Don't take it lightly. Are you ready to pray? Please open your mouth and pray for the grace to discern. Father, we ask you for the grace to discern. Even with those close to us, that we don't know that they're enemies. Father, we pray for the grace of discernment. To be able to perceive and to know, not to fall victim of betrayal, Father, help us. We need your help. Open your mouth and pray. The grace for discernment. These were so-called friends of David. Their words were sweeter than butter. Smoother than butter. Softer than oil. But their hearts were drawn short. Father, deliver us from such people in the name of Jesus. Deliver us from such people in the name of Jesus. Can I hear you? Amen. Father, deliver us from such people in the name of Jesus. God will deliver you from such people in the name of Jesus. You shall be able to design by his grace in the name of Jesus. What an awesome God. Wave your hands and bless him. What is your name? Jesus. You deserve the praise in our hearts. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise in this house. In the name of Jesus. The last scripture is also from Psalm 55 verse 9. It says, destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues. For I have seen violence and strife in the city. Destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues. So I pray for you and pray for me. The Lord will destroy and divide the tongues of those coming against you and your household. 
I said the Lord shall destroy and divide the tongues of those coming against you and your family. The Lord shall destroy and divide the tongues of those coming against your peace and your joy. In the name of Jesus, the Lord shall destroy and divide the tongues that bring the accusation against you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord shall destroy and divide the tongues of those who have decided to take your peace. In the name of Jesus, if you believe you can hear louder, amen. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Please lift up your hands. And adore him. He's an awesome God. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift the hands in trust. Hallelujah. Lift your holy name. Tell him. Deserves it, tell him. And the honor, Lord, we lift our hands in worship. Tell him. So Tell him again, there's no one else like you. No one else. Searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Said, nobody's great, nobody's great. Search all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody's greater, nobody's greater. No, nobody's greater. Nobody. Shout hallelujah. If 
are glad that you are alive. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Congratulate your neighbor. Say congratulations. You made it. You made it. You made it. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Is someone here to praise God? Are you here to return thanks unto him? We're now in December. There's nothing that we can do. We are here already. And we have crossed over already. Hallelujah. Somebody shout! For all the things you've done for me, Lord. Things you've 
sound of victory. The sound of victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Oh, oh. Hallelujah. Oh, oh. Let the sound, let the sound of rejoicing fill this house. He has made the way when I was going.
for us the one who leads the battle the one who fights the battle and the one who rounds up the battle the one who has handed the victory on over to us father we thank you for your faithfulness we thank you for your tender mercies we thank you for keeping us all through the year 2022, we thank you. From the first day of this year up to today, the 29th day of December, Father, we thank you. Waters have passed under the bridge, but Father, we are still standing. Father, we thank you. For the peace in our hearts, we thank you. For the joy in our hearts, we thank you. For all our loved ones, we say thank you. We may not be where we want to be, but we're not where we used to be. Father, we thank you. Had the devil had his way, we won't be here today. Either as individuals or collectively, we won't be here today. But Father, here we are standing and standing tall. Father, we thank you. Father, we say thank you. For the things we know and the ones we don't even know. Father, we're saying thank you. For the gift of life, we're saying thank you. For good health, we're saying thank you. For sound mind, we're saying thank you. As a nation, we're saying thank you. Despite all the pockets of trouble here and there, Lord, there's peace in the land. We can move around and do all we want to do. 
the shops are still open, we can still see things to buy. No matter how devalued the Naira is, we can still buy some things with it. Father, we say thank you. For our various employments, we say thank you. For our various endeavors, we say thank you. For those of us that are employed, we still have a job to go to every day. And those that own their businesses, they're still open every day. Father, we say thank you. And we are confident that next year will be bigger and better on all fronts in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the Fountain of Life Church. We thank you for indeed you are a good God. You've been good to us as a people. You've been good to our senior pastor and his family. If not for you, Father, what would we be saying today? But from the depths of our hearts, we're saying thank you. We're saying thank you. We're saying thank you. Receive our praise, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the last showers for the year 2022. Isn't the Lord good? We gathered the first Thursday of January and here we are gathering again the last Thursday of December. Purely by his mercies. Amen. We have five testimonies this morning. Two will be read out, and three will be given by the testifiers themselves. I'd like to call on Sister Ronke Obaoye to please come. And Sister Fola, please stand by. And Sister Abiola Adamson, please stand by as well. Sister Fola, can please come and stand here. Sister Abiola, too, please just come and stand. No, please stand. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for 2023. God has really been awesome to me. I'm, I'm not where I used to be. He has moved me forward. I want to thank him for what he has done, what he is doing, and what he's still going to do. When I look through 2022, not every request has been answered, but I have a reason to say thank you. God has really been awesome. My promise this year is Amos 9.30. It kept me going every day. I love the message transition. He said everything will happen so fast. And God has really been good to me, to my family, in my business, in my finances. I'm here to say thank you. I'm here to say thank you. Lord, I'm very grateful for your faithfulness over me and my family. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you will return the bigger testimonies next year in Jesus' name. Sister Fuller, please encourage her as she comes. Good morning, everyone. Um, praise God. Um, sorry, I'm not used to this, so please bear with me. Um, I have a testimony that I need to give, and it's way back in 2020 when I sent in um, a testimony that um, Pastor Tosi, yeah, okay, that Pastor Tosi read. So I don't know, I mean, like, I've asked for permission if just um, replay this. Okay. I want to testify of God's goodness and his never failing promises. I live in the UK, however I relocated to Nigeria in 2006 because I wanted to bring up my son in Nigeria. I moved back to the UK when it was time for him to begin his A levels. Morning, Pastor Dante. Once I was in Nigeria, I connected with the Fountain of Life Church, and I'm always, I was always in church, especially on Thursdays. I'm a professional HR consultant, but freelance, meaning I got my jobs via contracts. The two previous years were very challenging, and I was out of contract for seven months. I've been in this situation abroad 
It was being a single mom with all the bills, things were really challenging. I also have a mortgage. And my son is now in uni, amongst other pressing bills. But the word from Pastor Tai will always sustain me. And throughout the seven, six, seven month drought, rather than panic, I just confessed the word and I declared that I was going to receive double for my trouble, according to the scriptures Pastor gave at the time. However, by the eighth month, I received an eviction letter from my mortgage lender. This is a house I bought 14 years ago when we were coming back to Nigeria. I also got a letter from my service provider, phone, internet, and TV that they were going to suspend my service, which they eventually did. And of course, I was now cut off from the Thursday showers that, I, that sustained me. And it was like everything was going down. But instead of panicking, I just kept holding on to the word. And the only thing left in me because that was the only thing left in me. Don't get me wrong, I was weak at some time and I couldn't even pray. But I kept declaring the word every time the devil tried to make me fearful. This continued into this new year when Pastor declared that it's a, it's a year of a new song. I can now boldly testify that I am singing a new song. I'd been a member of a group where we contributed a certain amount every month. And... You know, one person took it at some point. We had completed, we had already completed for the year 2019. I got my eviction letter in October. I spoke with the coordinator with the hope that she might be able to help me. But she reminded me that the contribution had ended and not until this year. I burst into tears and she now promised to get back to me and to see what she would do. To God be the glory, she spoke to the group and they made a concession and they started me off with the first package and I used that to pay my mortgage arrears. In the new year, on the 3rd of January, I went for my first interview. I was so confident the job was mine, but they called me back to say I wasn't successful. Very unlike me, instead of getting upset, I just had this peace in me. The next day, I was just on my computer sending out CVs when my phone rang and it was the same organization who told me a day before that I had not been successful, but called to apologize and asked me to start the following day. And with fantastic benefits, I'm definitely getting double for my trouble. And finally, my internet provider sent me a letter saying they'll wipe off all my outstanding debts and reconnect me immediately. I have never seen this kind of God before. Indeed, he has turned my mourning into dancing and I'll continue to need it. sing a new song. And so will all of us in Jesus' name. I mean, like, um, the long and short of it is that um, I had my son 24 years ago, and like I said, we relocated back here because I wanted to bring him up here because that's what, exactly what my parents did. Um, blessed memory of um, Pastor Bimbo. She, she really liked my son. She used to encourage me so much, and I just wish that she was here today to see what is going on. Pastor Dapo has been my father. Even this morning he saw me because everything that I do, that testimony, I'll send it to him. And I normally, I still keep in touch with him. And to, be, to, to God's be the glory today, Emmanuel is doing great. He is a strong Christian. He manages all the Christian um, young upcoming um, singers like Limo Blaze and all. And... Um, I just can't thank God enough because it got to a point where in that seven months, I almost committed suicide. I kept on going for interviews, interviews, in and out, in and out. It got to a point where I got to this point where, like I said, everything was going down and I just thought, what am I still living here for? I just want to commit suicide. I called my son in uni. I busted in tears, and I, t I didn't say anything. He, he encouraged me, but as soon as I got out, I sat down somewhere, and the devil is a liar because I lost my younger brother through depression, and the same thing wanted to happen to me again. So I just sat down in a mall, and that thing kept on telling me, go and kill yourself. Why are you still here? Even when this is over, you're still going to face another one. You might as well kill yourself and everything. And as I was just about to go, Someone just stopped me, and then she was like, what is wrong? Why am I crying profusely and everything? I explained to her. She said, are you a Christian? I said, I'm a Christian. She said, can you fast? And I said, of course I can, because there's another group that I do connect to, 
um, early in the morning here in Nigeria, I wake up as early as three o'clock because once it's winter, it's four to six. But once it's winter time, we're back um, one hour behind. So during that time, we had this Esther fast, Daniel fast, fast that I've never heard of in my entire oh, life. <laughs> so I just made sure that I did everything. But yeah, like I said, to, to the glory of God, I'm standing here. He's the glory and the lifter of my head. Amen. The shame that I went through. Being a single mom, or I lost so many friends. A lot of people thought I would not make it. Now, like I said, he is the glory and the lifter of my head. Hallelujah. I can't believe that I am standing here today to give this testimony. And especially the fact that my son is so strong in the Lord. That is the main thing for me. Thank you. Pastor Tosi. Um, uh, Moro Toto is Emmanuel's friend. He was the one that he took your son's um, photographs during the, her graduation in De Montfort because they both went to um, De Montfort. Um, yeah, so Hallelujah. You. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Sister Biola, please come. Good morning, yeah. I'd like to give this testimony on behalf of my daughters. I have two daughters. At the age of 38, I lost my husband. I became a widow with nowhere to turn, with two daughters, a lot of responsibilities, depression, suicidal thoughts, and all of it. Today, I give thanks to the Lord because my two daughters, anyway, my first, I have two testimonies. The, the first one is long overdue. My two daughters are now both graduates. <laughs> Graduation is not my testimony. My testimony is that both of them graduated in England. Both of them first class. Law. One, read, one, read, one did law, one did accounting. And my daughter, the one that did law, got the, um, from in Swansea University that year, she got the Hillary Clinton Award for the best international students. That's my first testimony. My second testimony is about my first daughter. When she finished in England, she came back home for a youth service. There are, there are big four accounting firms in the world. Nigeria has one, Nigeria has, uh, there's one in Nigeria. They retain her. So after, I mean, after the youth service, they retain her. Then she was working. Okay, like the, the plan was for her to go back to Canada, to go to Canada for her masters. The following year, she got admission into a university in Canada. And I told her, okay. And she just came to me one morning. Mommy, I'm not going to Canada. I almost fainted. When she got admission, after everything had been, had been done, she said, Mommy, I'm not going to Canada. I said, why? She said, because I want to jack bar in a big style. I said, jack bar in a big style, but I will go to Canada. She, I almost, I, almost I, I, I mean, just for my, her refusal got me, I almost fainted. But she stood her ground. She said, Mommy, I am not going. I am going. I'm, I'm, award, I'm quoting that, I want to jack by in a big style. So she now, I mean, and fast forward. After a while, by the second year, she was, she was tired of the work because the work was actually overwhelming. She was working from home, so I was actually seeing her every day. She starts work by nine o'clock, by 11, 12, she's still there. She was working seven days a week. So every time she would come to me, mommy, I want to resign. And when I will start begging, Joe call me, please, my resign. Marie, she said, no, not that. mommy, I'm going to resign. I begged, I mean, persistently, at least once in four months, I will hear the, mommy, there's nothing you can say, I'm resigning. Then the last one was in August. She just posted in, into my room, mommy, today, it is today, there's nothing you can say, don't even beg me, don't say anything. Mommy, today I am resigning. Then the begging started, Joe call me, my resigning, blah, 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 blah. Then she now said, mommy, you know what? Let me go and talk to my cousin. But I'm resigning, I'm resigning next week. Let me go and talk to my cousin. So she went to talk to her cousin. She came back to me and she said, eh, my cousin advised me that eh, I should not resign. I should not shake any con, I should not. I said, fine. But she now said her cousin told her that she can work in one of the big falls in London. She should send a CV to her. She will send it to somebody in one of the big falls in London. She now said, fine. By the second, uh, she, yeah, she, I think she sent the CV that night. This was in August. She sent the CV that night. And the following week, somebody from that company in England called her for an interview. I mean, they scheduled an interview for her. The, the, by the second week, she did the first interview. 
she passed. The th I think the second, the third week, she did the next interview, and that was the final interview, and she passed. And they, I mean, she, she also, I mean, so they gave her the post of an assistant manager in one of the big fours in England. And now, like according to her, she will say, "Mommy, she still, she still, she still works in an accounting firm anyway." But today she will tell me, "Mommy, I'm living my dream. I'm living a baby girl lifestyle. I jack her in big, in big style. I'm now an assistant manager." <laughs> Fantastic. And I just give glory to the to Lord. But in between, while she was having that interview, I'm a Thursday, I'm a Thursday, I'm a Shawarian. Between all the interviews, I would always come to this altar and pray and talk to God about it. Every Thursday, all through the interviews. And today, I thank God. I just give God glory. Hallelujah. Jaqua in style. Not all of us with Jaqua. There is good in the land. Praise the name of Jesus. There is good in the land. But if the Lord will have you to relocate, I won't say Jabba. If the Lord will have you relocate, go ahead, but there is good in the land. Praise the name of Jesus. We thank God for those testimonies. Amen. This one is from Sister Osaruna. Okay, All glory to God, the giver of health, wealth, and life. For about nine years, she's had this severe back pain, most especially in the middle of her spine. Very sharp pain and just a little touch of pressure on the back will, I mean, will bring about the pain. And she couldn't go to the hospital for the fear of bills. When Pastor reminded us to call on God on the 4th of December in church and take any position we like, I knelt before my father and asked for total healing of my spine and finances because living with serious financial stress is not a joke. One night as I slept from my sleep, I heard a shift. It sounded like a click on my spine. I woke up immediately and felt great relief, like I was given a brand new back. I was jumping, praising God, bending my back like a traditional dancer because I was excited about my miracle. My back hadn't felt this light in years. I glorify the most high God for this and I know my healing is permanent and he that healed me of my physical pain will take the financial pain away miraculously as well and so shall it be in Jesus' name. Praise Jehovah for me. Exalt his name, the God you call that answers. Hallelujah to the one who reigns forever. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. Not only will God heal our bodies, we'll heal our finances too. And every other thing that needs healing in the name of Jesus. This year, we still have two days left. It will end in praise and shouts of joy. With great dancing in the name of Jesus. This one is from Anulua Ajayi. Good evening, honorable fountaineers. My name is Anulua, and I'm sharing, this. I'm sharing the Lord's greatness towards I and my family this year. My testimony is concerning my father, who is aged 68, a medical doctor for over 35 years, and also a minister for over 30 years. It started in January, I and my siblings started having strange feelings of impending doom, but the Spirit led us to thank God for my dad's life. My dad's pastor and other men of God who were also ministry friends made the point of praying for my dad. It all seemed strange, but we did it. He complained of having challenges with his memory. We asked if he would be open to seeing a neurologist and he declined saying it's probably his age and stress. So we got him supplements to correct that and adjusted his meals to as per old age issues. It seemed to get better. During the last week of March, during my exams, I checked on him the first day of the week at 6.30 a.m. as I always made him a cup of tea or served him fruits before he began his day. But I noticed that there was a strange smell in his room and he was not awake either which was strange as he wakes up every day at 5.30 a.m. So I deduced that maybe he slept late, which was not strange. 
I went back to check on him at past seven and he was still asleep. I started panicking because he was not even responding or conscious of the door being opened and closed. I tapped him to wake him up, but he did not respond, which was unlike, unlikely since he was always a light sleeper, even on his tired days. I got scared and started to tap him harder and shook him. Started to wake him up. After five minutes, he woke up and he seemed to be disoriented. I started having issues with incontinence. I realized that he was unable to sit down or keep his eyes open and he could not talk to me. I checked his blood pressure since he used, used to be hypertensive and it was very low. My first thought was maybe he took double dose of sleeping medication, so I made him a cup of coffee to, to, to make him more alert, none of which, none of us, included him, felt or suspected something more sinister at all. I and my brother called mom and told her that we were bringing him home to rest for a bit, and we did. He seemed better after a few days of rest. I could not cope with the exams, and unfortunately I had low grades that semester, which deflated my spirit, but I just wanted my diet to be fine. The third day at home at 3 p.m., a sudden strong gust of wind blew into our compound without rain clouds, and a very scary clap of thunder happened and tore the, strong, and tore the strongest tree in the compound down. These all happened in a minute. My brother, who was 15 minutes from home, Coming from work, saw the lightning touch down somewhere close to where our house was located. And I just said, thank you, Lord, unknown to him. I did the same at home too. As strange as it may be, the wind tore down the avocado tree that had recently had its white branches trimmed. And it felt, and it left the big leafy and for blah, 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 blah. It seemed to be getting better until he had to inform him that he was to stop actively doing medical consultations and retire. He was upset and hurt because he felt we were sort of, take, we were sort of taking away his identity. So I decided to stay with him overnight since he was upset. Overnight, he started having seizures, and by morning, even though he refused, we made him go to the hospital, and that was where everything took a turn. His vitals at the private hospital showed that his blood sugar was six times the normal range at 549. Then we were instructed to run various tests on him. We found out his kidneys were at stage three damage, stroke which was badly, stroke, stroke which has badly injured his frontal lobe, and he was obviously diabetic. The doctors at the private hospital were shocked that he was still walking unaided, but advised that he should be admitted, which we did. But on knowing that he was also a doctor and had children, friends, and family who were also who went to, who are healthcare professionals, they practically refused him treatment and harassed us to leave the hospital. That evening, we called his old friends and colleagues who still worked at Luth to inform them and ask if we could be treated at Luth. We got a referral letter and also called one of our cousins whose father-in-law helped us to get another contact at Luth. We thought it would get easier from that point onward, but it didn't. The next morning, we got to Luth at 9 a.m. It took two hours for an emergency doctor to check on him outside at the entrance of the A&E. His sugar level was still rising, and the doctor told us to try and get him the best space at spillover. God help our medical facilities. We tried all to no avail. We waited from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the evening before our contacts there by the grace of God could help us get him signed in. And at this point, he was no longer communicating and he was drooling. And his cognitive and motor skills were almost non-existent. At a point by 4 p.m., he cried and called my name and he said, I know, let us go home. God will help us. I will be fine. I will try new medication. I told him, so far, we have made it thus far. After all rejections, we will find help here by God's grace. My mind was blank. 
My fiance who was with me was confused and all we kept remembering to say and proclaim by him was Romans 8 verse 12. And we kept proclaiming it with his full name while saying thank you Jesus. He got admitted that night finally at 7 p.m. The matrons at the ward he was placed initially demanded their own set of large size medical supplies and hygiene products or else they would not attend to him. When we agreed, which we agreed to, but before we could, the two heads of departments who are our people, they are sent to differences or specialists to assess his case. And because we were not quick enough to provide what the matrons demanded, the matrons lied and told the specialists that they had no one bearing my dad's name on file in their ward. I was on my way to pay for the things they demanded at past nine, and I heard my father's name mentioned. I called them back and told them that the person they were asking of was not a Mr. Ajayi, he is Dr. Ajayi, and he is my father. The matrons then demanded to know what was special about him, to have made two heads of department send two sets of specialists to assess him. After giving them his health history, they told the matrons that they would put him in charge of a younger colleague and they were not to touch him since none of us could stay with him in the ward. My mom, my younger brother, practically passed the night there and by the next morning he was transferred to the acute stroke unit. He spent a week on admission. That period was hectic, but God, who is faithful with us, was with us. In every way, he kept us safe during the midnight demands, through the midnight errands to get drugs for him and all driving to and fro to make sure everyone at home was fine. He provided for us to be able to afford his care. He encouraged our spirits that fear and panic did not take away our peace of mind and trust in him. The best part was that even though the devil afflicted him with two major stroke incidents, Dad walked out of the house, out of the out of the house unaided, and he walked back in unaided. When everything started, I cried and I talked to God like He was sitting in my room with me. That neither I nor my siblings are married or have children yet. None of us have paid Him back yet for His efforts over our lives, so He cannot take Him away yet. I also told God that because he made dad to be like a tree that everyone runs to, to take shelter, he cannot take him away. Today, dad is well. God has proven himself again and again that he is the God that fights our battle and is wholly dependable. I'm so grateful for his love. He undoubtedly revealed his glory to me and my family. We thank God for that testimony. And we thank God for Dad's healing. But from what we read, we cannot stop praying for our nation, Nigeria. Be it the health sector, or the educational sector, or is it the power sector? Just name it. We cannot stop praying. What should be normal? Or should I say, abnormal has become normal. Must you know anybody to get medical assistance? And they say on the streets, God help us, we don't know anybody. It's so sad, but that is the story of Nigeria. So we must not stop praying for Nigeria. Um, please, I'm not standing political, go and get your PVCs so you can vote the right people in at the next election. Men that will have the heart to serve the people that will do what is right. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes, we're praying for God to heal our land, but let us also do what we can do. We have the power to vote, so please get your PVCs and cast your votes as the Lord will lead you. I'm not mentioning party of anybody. As the Lord will lead you, as your conscience will lead you. Praise the name of Jesus. We thank God for the various testimonies. Who's next? 
So we wait for your testimony in 2023. Praise the name of Jesus. Can I please bring out our offerings to thank God for all he has done. It's been a wonderful year. A very eventful year. But here we are. Standing tall. Can we all please rise to our feet with our offerings? And so, Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you've done. From the first showers of this year till today, the last showers of this year. We thank you for the awesome testimonies. We thank you for the various encounters we've had with you individually and collectively. And Father, with our offerings, we're saying thank you. It's an act of worship and we pray that these offerings find pleasure in your sight in the name of Jesus. As our hands are up in abundance, when they never come down due to lack of penury in Jesus' name. We shall return next year with greater testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. May you please have your seats as the praise band ministers to us.
Come on, your hallelujah sounds like a... <laughs> Amen. Yes, the last time we'll be together in showers until we we'll do it in the new year. Somebody scream hallelujah. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. I enjoyed the praise and worship. It was really good. I enjoyed the testimonies. They were very, very good. But there will be more dancing in Jesus' name. And there will be more testimonies in Jesus' name. Isn't God wonderful? He's a faithful God. I feel so good this morning. Because somebody's testimony is today. You know what I mean? That is what you have been waiting for. That is already done. Will be manifested today. In the name of Jesus. And so you're singing and dancing. We take a new dimension. Isn't God wonderful? Why don't you lift your hands up to heaven. And just appreciate him for who he is. And what he has done. And glory be to God in the highest. Just give him praise. Thank him. Worship him and adore him. He's been, he's been part of every miracle in your life this year. In fact, he's the reason for every miracle. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Give him honor. Worship him and adore him. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. That you are here today, that you are standing, glory be, or sitting anyhow, that you are part of this congregation, that you are lifting up your hands today to say thank you. Amen. He deserves it. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Aha. Uh -huh. For your spouse, come on, give him praise. Deliberately give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. For your children, name them one by one. Give him praise. Give him honor. For your health, glory be. For divine provision and for protection. Hallelujah. I mean, thank God for your pastors, you that come from different churches. Thank God for your pastors. Hallelujah. 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 And if you're in fountain, thank God for Pastor Tyro. Hallelujah. Amen. And now thank God for all our pastors at the Fountain of Life Church. Glory be to God in the highest. Thank God for all our heads of departments. Thank God for our workers, our staff members. Come on, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Give him praise, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Makasha kata labu rabaka shanda la baba. Meramba kato braka shanka tabra baba kasata la. Mane boko swanda braka shanda braka sata braka swanda braka shenda. Manda kari kuswati braka shenda braka ho rabaka kasha Give him praise. Give him praise. Thank God for your boss at work. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh yes, the chief executive of your company. Malala la la kashata. The one that God used to start that organization. That at least providing a place for you to work and you are getting paid. Thank God for their lives. Hallelujah. Your colleagues at work. Thank God for them. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank God for the teachers of your children. Hallelujah. Your drivers, your, your security men, your cooks. Come on, appreciate God. Appreciate God. Appreciate God for life. Hallelujah. Father, we honor you. We bless you. We adore you. Glory be to your name. Oh, my shakaraba. Thank God for the doctor that God, I mean, that God used. Uh, at least to attend to you. The, the, the reason you are still alive today. Come on. The nurse. Thank God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank God for the body of Christ. Glory be to God in the highest. Thank God for the fountain of life church. Hallelujah. Glory. Makashanda. Glory. 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 We give all our praises to God. We give him praise. We give him honor. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Makasa la bakasa la baba, babu ya kes. Mana bakasa la, ye mana bakasa la bakasa la baba, bakasa la baba. Mana bu la kesha kada da 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 da. Mana bakasa la bakasa la bakasa la baba, bakasa la baba. Mana bakasa la bakasa la baba, bakasa la baba. Ah, 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 ah. Mana bu, I'm lost. Shakata <laughs> Imagine what life would have looked like. Sometimes I ask myself the question. I said, what if I never met Christ? I would have been long forgotten. You would never have known that anybody was ever born. 
with the name Taiwo Dukoya, you will never have known. If I don't even think I would have gone through my secondary school, I would have gone at that stage. In fact, primary school, not beginning to remember. But here I am. No, no, no. We owe it to him. That's what I'm trying to say. I want you to, 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 to kind of reflect on your life. You will discover that without him, we have every reason to really thank him today. To really appreciate him. Ah, I am grateful. I would never have known you if I never met Christ. Never. Oh, from, from where to where. But this is this is the kingdom. There's a song we used to sing. I'm not sure you guys know it's an old song. It says, These are the gates. Oh, these are the gates of hell. These are the gates of the everlasting. Um, and we enter in with and thanks. We enter in with prayer. Oh, yes, you will know it. Thanksgiving. Thanks. Yes, thanksgiving in our hearts with love. No. Oh. No. With love and praise to love and praises to our God. Anybody? No, you don't know it. You just look like you don't know it. Oh, you don't know it either. Okay, you don't know it. All right. Um, yes. Doctor looks like she knows it, but she wouldn't remember all the words. Anybody knows it from the congregation? These are the gates of the kingdom. These are the doors of the everlasting court, and we enter in with praise and thanks. No, let's let's see how she. I think she knows it. You're looking brighter, Femo. Something is happening to you. Even your shoes are. Yeah. Even your even this your yeah. You look like uh, wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's hear her. Yeah, okay. These are the... Sing, 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 sing. You can make your voice... These are the gates. These are the, the gates. Kingdom. These are the gates of the, the kingdom. kingdom. Yeah. These are the courts of, of his everlasting, everlasting king. And we ah, enter in, in with praise and, and thanksgiving. We enter in with praise and thanksgiving. With praises on our lips. Thanksgiving in our hearts with love and worship from our God. Ooh, that's it. These are the gates of Thanksgiving. The, these are the gates these of the, the kingdom. kingdom. Aha. These are the courts of the everlasting King. And we enter in with praise and thanksgiving. We enter in with praise and thanksgiving. With praises on our lips, thanksgiving in our hearts, in love and worship of our Lord. Now you want to sing it in worship to Him. Hallelujah. I want to hear those sounding sonorous female voices and, of course, the baritonic guy's voice. These are the gates of the kingdom. And then what here? These are the gates of the Hallelujah. Let's come on. Hallelujah. Okay. Ma ma ka so rubrea. Ma ka to pro le beke shendere. Are you ready? Yes. Go for it. Okay, you think? Okay, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You may need to change the keys. People can't sing well with my key, but I can sing with everybody's key. So I'm blessed. Okay. These are 
Okay. Let, let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. No, 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 no. no. These are the gates. These are the gates of the kingdom. These are the gates of the everlasting King. We can turn in with praise and thanks. Mahasha, we enter in with praise and thanksgiving. We praise His name, thanksgiving in our hearts with love and worship for God. Mahasha, labo, everybody, ma. These are the days of the kingdom. These are the cause of the everlasting King. And we enter in with praise and thanksgiving. We enter in with praise and thanksgiving. We praise His honor, let thanksgiving in our hearts. With love and worship for my Lord. When a person combines love and worship in his or her heart, they float. They just float. There's nothing strong enough to pull them down. They're so full of praises. They're so full of love. They're so full of worship. Glory be to God in the highest. Okay, let, let me say it. These two days into the new year, watch out. Not watch out for what the devil is trying. No, he's a failure in the name of Jesus. Watch out for unusual restoration. I keep hearing it. And I keep, ah, I keep, I keep hearing it. I keep it. It's all over here now. But I think in this corner, something... 2023 in the name of Jesus true I'm not joking now don't say it's not pointing my direction yet but I just do like this hallelujah that's it you'll be overwhelmed not with the lies of the devil but with the blessings of God in the name of Jesus we give him praise you have no see, 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 see. You have no time for naysayers. You have no time for anything that seeks to pull down. You just don't, you just will not have time. You'll be too busy basking in the glory, counting the blessings, swimming in the love, in the name of Jesus. If you are that person, let your amen be the loudest. <laughs> hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. You know, somebody said something. He said, when you begin to remember that it's all about him, you'll be the freest on earth. You'll be the most confident on earth. You'll be the... Ah, people will think you're the only one that God is blessing. But when you don't know that, you think it's all about me. And you will never have enough. That will never be your portion, Jesus said. It's all about him. You know, you know how he gets his glory on earth? You showing it by his blessings on your life. That's it. When he does it for you, the world will have no choice than to acknowledge him. And that will be someone tes someone's testimony into this coming year and all through the year in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God in the highest. I know you have been standing for a long time. Why don't you get seated? 
But if you get to, if you get to a point in during the service that you don't, you sitting just will not continue anymore. You jump up. Glory be to God in the highest. Let me look at the, let me look at their feet. I mean, and, ah, some of the ladies are wearing very high. That's all right. That's okay. I can see. I can see. Okay, I can see. I can see. Yes, yours is the highest. Yeah, I can see, and then followed by. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. So, okay, should they sit down for a while? Okay, sit down for a while. God bless you. You know, can you give me a palm? Give me a key. Yes, I am. And I say, give me a key, I will sing. But if I start it, some of them will not be able to sing. Yes, uh, yeah, again. Yeah. I'm so glad I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to my Lord. I'm so glad yes, I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to my Lord. Oh, I'm so glad. I belong to Jesus. I belong to my God. I'm so glad. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to the Yoruba. Come on, Oh yes, oh on Jesus, one more time. Thank you. I, I, I know if we want to take testimonies for the rest of the day, we have more than enough in the hall today. Those ones are great testimonies, great, great testimonies. The first lady just said, look, that I'm alive, that I'm here. That, I mean, the way she puts it, kind of great. The second lady, I mean, I, from depression to, hey, glory be to God in the highest. To rule in the world, hallelujah. And then the third lady, Ellie Widowhood. Can you imagine? But look at her, radiant children fly. Only Jesus. I can't remember the first one read, but back, oh yeah, Sarona. Yeah, that's right. Can you imagine? Just trusted God. I mean, just like, this is the time to release your faith. She stood on it in the night. That's the way your testimony will be too. In the name of Jesus. And the last one, the daddy, can you imagine, looked like he was gone. Only God. Come on, give God a picture. Hallelujah. Yeah, I will take... But I don't want stories, I want testimonies. Because I'm, going to, I'm looking at the time. Five. Testimonies, no stories. Testimonies, no stories. You see, testimonies will end in two minutes. Stories will go on to 20 minutes. Hallelujah. It's my restoration time. I don't know about you, but it's my restoration time. You see why he's saying that? Because I heard God, he told me, he said, he's entering a unusual harvest. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Okay, the first person, five. 
Ushers, make sure they are good. Hallelujah. I'm glad too that there's no rush, only five. See, Holy Ghost is at work. You see? Yes. Good morning, sir. Bless you, sir. Good morning, church. Praise the Lord. It's been, we thank God we are here at the end of 2022. It's been a whirlwind for me, my family, but all glory to God. Hallelujah. It seemed impossible. The doors were locked. That's just it. The doors were locked, but out of nowhere, God came through. God came through through Thursday showers. Depression is real. Loneliness is real. God came through Thursday showers. Every Thursday came, you know, taking, you might not be the best spiritual person on it, but just take the little bits, the little nuggets that you get. Fasting and prayer. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Please, if you don't do anything right next year, the first week of every month, Join the fasting and prayers. Join the fasting and prayers. God will touch you in ways that you never knew you could be touched. Please, join the fasting and prayers. Thank you. Compliments of the season. God bless you. While you were speaking, I heard it clearly. God says to tell you, he loves you especially. Honestly, don't forget. Always remind yourself when you wake up, say, ah, thank you, God, for loving me so specially. You'll be amazed. Men will love you. In the name of Jesus. Your life will radiate the glory of God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I feel the fire now. Just don't forget. Remind yourself. Check in the Bible. Check all the scriptures. God loves me. I bear Can't you see? God loves me. God loves you. God bless you. Next person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Okay, it's, um, I'm really glad to be here because I'm visiting. Um, having had contact with the single, singles and married um, um, programs years back. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank God at last I'm in this ministry. Okay, um, last two Thursdays, um, I think it was pastor, one of the pastors that was anchoring one of the sessions, he was talking about God showed up. In November, I wrote an exam. Writing that exam, I just knew I had to depend on God because I've been writing it over and over. It wasn't as if I didn't know the exact paper I was writing. I would teach my friends, they would pass and all that, but I kept writing. But I told God, I said, I can't come back for this paper again. I'm really tired. And then I wrote the exam. I didn't know the result was going to be out this December, but last two Thursdays, when um, declarations were made about God showing up, I asked God to show up for me because in as much as I've written, I could still fail, but I needed to depend on God. And indeed, last week, Tuesday, the result came out, and indeed, God showed up. God showed I up. Hallelujah. I God. God yes. showed up. And so for the rest of your life, always expect God to what? Hey, hallelujah. It is well with you. God will always show up for you in Jesus' name. In every area. Don't leave out any area. Say, God, you always show up. So I expect you to what? Show up. God bless you. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, about six weeks ago, I was sitting there and God said, give your testimony next week. But then I didn't give it because I didn't want to stand out. And he kept pushing it. He would show me in visions. I don't care what you're going to say. Just go outside and give a testimony. And I'm like, I don't have anything. I mean, my life is a testimony in itself. So I don't have the energy. Like, where do I want to start from? He had been trying to get my attention. And then on Tuesday, he showed me there's life and death, like, do you want me to spank you a little more so that you can go outside and give a testimony? Basically, um, my life is a life of suffering. That's how God has created me. But in my suffering is exactly where you find God. He said, you know, when Daniel was in the lions, in the furnace of fire, people would see and nobody wants to be in the furnace, but then they see the fourth man and then everybody then wants to go see what's going on. Who is that guy? Who is that fourth person? There are times you see me, for two years I have been out of my body. I've I used to be chubby, but now I'm skinny because I'm not alive. I'm a spirit being for now. I've been working for God in the spirit. And you see me, there's four of us. It's me, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And like that's the biggest 
biggest deal that could ever happen to me because when I told God um, 2020, I started a vlog and I was preaching and I said, I want to be the Bible. I don't know how you're going to do it, but I just want to be the living word. Like, just make me every story that you're telling here. And one day after the webinar, I had a dream where God came as Pastor Tywo. So sometimes he doesn't show me his face, but I told him I wanted to see his face and then he started to show me, which was super dope. So he came as Pastor Tywo and then there was like an attack and he stood and he held the Bible and he made me I didn't understand hear well that. Though. Somebody came like Pastor. God came in as you <laughs> to my house. Sorry. Okay, sorry, go ahead. That's all right. But I did. Um, and he held the Bible to let me understand that I'm going to make you this word. I'm going to use this word to show my power in the spirit realm. He took me to Zion. We did beautifully last year. This year he made me a marine person took me to show his power like now when people see they just know they say you know what that girl if you want to meet God maybe you don't really know who God is you either love her or you hate her you will come he will come and meet you so my story is just that I have the king of all kings he's my dad he's my okay. best friend okay he's the only okay. thing that matters to me the king of all kings is your dad so now you begin to have a revelation of God as your father he will blow your mind you know what the Bible says? It says, when you begin to wonder about how to get this or get that, I said, don't you need to fret. See, your father knows what you already have need of. Before you begin to have the need, he will daze you, only surprise you. Keep with him. The future is good. In Jesus' name, yes. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I just want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. And I bless God because it's not easy for me to come out because I'm always shy. I always say, five years ago, I joined this church. And pastor was moving around. It was, was the time of uh, prayer time. He was moving around. And my wife-to-be spoke to me and said, Pastor said, uh, the Lord is going to do something big in your life. When she came home, uh, she told me, and then I was having a, a little bit challenges about finances to get married. So we got married, and the marriage was so big in this church, and we were like, people were like counting the number of months and days, and to God be the glory, God gave us a daughter after that. Um, after three years, God gave us a son, and uh, I thank God for that. God was so good to me, uh, and I decided that, okay, we are, I'm going to join you in this church because uh, I think this is where I belong now. So I, I joined the church five years ago. Then I've been trying to join the workforce. I've been working on it because I told my wife that I cannot be a member. I want to be a worker, and she said, no problem that I should go for the workers in training. I've been doing that, but I couldn't finish at the time because I have Saturday's work I used to do. And that's been going. I've been coming for prayers and been doing everything. And something happened last year, December 31st. My brother got an accident. And the accident was so terrible that the two legs were so... Uh, uh, the, the fact was written out by the doctors. And the doctor said, there's nothing you can, uh, we can do than to amputate the leg. <sighs> we were crying. I was crying like a baby with him. And the doctor said, another doctor came and said, it's 50-50. That uh, they will have to see what they can do. Even if they are going to work on it, they will put um, like a ring on it and something like that, engine and something to hold the leg. And they said, we are going to get about 10 million naira. I said, God, what am I going to do? So last year, December, to this time, God has been faithful. And on last month, we came for checkup because I've been running up and down. I couldn't even sleep very well. And my wife just told me that, what are you going to do? I said, don't worry, I'll be praying along. That's the only thing I can do. And then finances, I'll be doing what I can do. So last month, he said, I should come over to the Dobi and in Autobetic. 
And then the doctor said that we need to check on him. And he said, wash me. See what God has done for me. I said, what is it? He said, this second leg, I can now move it. It can walk. But this other one, the Lord is going to heal it. I said, glory be to God. And he said, I said, let me see what you can do. And he stood up. And I said, are you, are you, are you sure you are not going to fall? He said, wash me. Then he moved the leg. One part of my eyes, tears just fell off. I said, God, is this you? And he moved his leg. Though the second one, he cannot raise it very well. And he moved the leg, and it's it was so like a miracle. Hallelujah. So I just give God the glory Amen. for the wonderful thing he has done. I want to tell the church, everybody here, God is here. Amen. God is here. Amen. It is you, is here, and it's here in your mind too. It's here in your soul, and it's here in this church. Praise the Lord. What the Lord has started will perfect in Jesus' name. God bless you. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm here to appreciate God for life, for protection and provision over my family. I'm also here to tell him thank you for I did not lose, uh, lost my father two years ago. I'm always thankful to him because he had an accident where we were not around. But it was someone that stood out in the midst of the crowd that came out to take pictures of someone that had an accident. Instead of looking for a way to save the person, they came out to take pictures. But God passed through someone and saved my father. He took him to the hospital, paid his bills, and my father came back. I did not lose him. That's why even here, I still pray for that man. I don't know who he is. I still pray for him that God will keep him and Amen. God will pay him back. Amen. I'm here also to appreciate God for my mom. She's aged, but God has been keeping her. We don't visit the hospital like old people going for medical checkups, but God has been keeping her. Mm. That woman does not like drugs. God has been keeping her. I'm also here to thank God for adding one more person to our family. My other sister gave birth this year. Amen. It was a major operation it was risky but god made a way i'm also here to appreciate god for uh helping my friends you know we've been sorting for scholarships and god made it possible possible that she was able to go out of the country for her masters and i believe the same god that did it for her will do it for me amen so may his name be praised in jesus name Hallelujah. Congratulations. God will surprise you abundantly in this coming year in Jesus' name. You see, in her testimony, you could find her secret. Here she's thanking God for a friend who got a scholarship, and she, yet she's looking for one. She's rejoicing at another person's success. The general, see, 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 the normal, the natural person gets envious. True. They just get angry with you for no reason. But here she's rejoicing for a friend. No wonder some man that you didn't know just got your daddy to the hospital and paid. It's the kind of person you are. You're going to get more. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Okay. I think we should put a dance on that. Because I'm going to share the word in another f for about 10, 15 minutes. 10 minutes. Don't be afraid. Choir, are you ready? Now, if you have a reason to dance, dance. To the extent you have a reason to dance, dance. If you have a reason to dance and jump, jump. If you have a reason to just shake where you are, shake. If you have a reason to just cross your leg and watch everybody dance, please do it, by all means. Oh, glory be to God in the highest. Nothing can separate me from your love, oh God. No be lie. And I only you they change my life. Ooh. Your love is unchangeable. Where is are uncountable. Of things that you do, Lord, I cannot tell it all. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, 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 ah.
I am not so impressed. So I wonder how God is impressed. Oh, yes, he says he's been impressed. He said, Beth, you can do better. Now, just three more minutes, I'll stop it so I can share something for you. Just for you to take away. The kind of dance you are going to dance in 2023. Wait, 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 wait. The kind of dance you will dance into 2023. Uh-huh. The kind of dance you will dance throughout January. The kind of dance that will continue to increase in amplitude into February, March, April, May. If you don't have that kind of dance, sit down. Now, let's hear the beat clearly so we can dance it properly. And give us the kind of dance that we can dance to. We have just two minutes more. And as you're sitting, turn to one, two people say, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I'm singing into next year. I'm dancing to next year. I'm dancing through the year. In the name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout amen. amen. Thank you, choir. You can be seated. Turn with me to Hebrews chapter 12. Glory be to God. Remember, it's a year of ever increasing glory. You still see something. In the name of Jesus, you will still see. Never come. You will still see. You will see his glory. In the name of Jesus. Remember, he always causes us to triumph. That alone is a big deal. But not just that. And then he causes us to diffuse his knowledge. The fragrance of his knowledge. Everywhere you go, that will be your testimony throughout the year in Jesus' name. I said throughout 2023, in the name of Jesus. And that's not the end. He said, because you are the sweet. Mandre Makashaka Baba. I said throughout the year, your fragrance will be sweet. You'll be the sweet fragrance. I'll be the sweet fragrance of God. Everywhere I go, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it yourself. Yes, in Jesus' name. Glory be to God in the highest. <laughs> okay. Hebrews chapter 12. 
Let me take it from verse 1. I'm really going to be sorry. Quick, quick, quick from here. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud, by so great a cloud of, the, uh, of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and, air and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance. Glory be to God in the highest. The race that is set before us. Uh, then this is where I'm going. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Uh, um, because of my time, let me just quickly bring it out here. Uh, the instruction is what? Looking unto Jesus. But the instruction begins that let us run with what? endurance, the race that is set before us, because the reason people crash out is because they lack endurance. People are not able to wait. People are not able to wait for God. They get it on their, I mean, for, they, they get themselves into it to do it for themselves. After a while, you just think, man, for how long? And then compromises begin. Because I've been waiting for God for so long, but they that wait on the Lord, they shall renew their strength. I see strength in in the name of Raboshi Kandele Makasanta Brababakatoria, where people think that you are gone, you are finished. <laughs> they are in for a bad time. Glo Somebody shout glory. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Malako Tombre Kashata. He said they will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings as eagle. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. <laughs> so, some are yet to, to, to soar. You're going to soar. In the name of Jesus. Please listen. Only one person died, shedding his blood, buried, and resurrected again. Only one. If anybody want to claim, wants to claim that they didn't shed their blood for nobody. Only one. I feel the fire. I give him praise. Hallelujah. I give him honor. Hallelujah. <laughs> now I know him as a Dakeja. I know him as The Bible says, let me let me to that. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> okay. I praise him. But there's somebody here. It's your time. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, it didn't point my direction. That doesn't matter. I say, it's my time. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, that's what, is, that's what is important. That's what is important. Glory be to God in the highest. Yeah. Is this? Let's run. I mean. Let's run with endurance the race that is set before us. And how? He said, putting away the sin that does it before us and what? The weight that, yeah, put them aside. So instructions are laid in. But particularly this one is, how do you get these ones done? This is practical. Look. To look is practical. That's practical. That's what you can do. If I say, do away from the sin, just try. But somehow you get pushed sometimes, you get tempted. But to look is not difficult. Look. I want you to look. That's a deliberate thing. He said, look unto Jesus. And that's not just it, the author. And if, so he guarantees your finishing well. Straight away. Uh -uh. You know what he's saying? You bring forth your fruit in your season. That's what he's saying. You'll live no wither. Whatever you do, you will prosper. It's not up to anybody. It's up to him and you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. That's the God we serve. Uh, the devil, has, he, he, he has tried you all through the year. But he made a mistake. He prepared you for the greatest victory of your life. And who's the loser? The devil and his team. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, the author and the finisher of your faith. So let me just, no, it's 11 o'clock. Can I take five more minutes? After it's the last one. Uh, and I'm, I'm not asking for 50 minutes, you know. Okay. So I look at look. What does this look mean? Look away so that I can have a good look at what you want to look. Look is afarao. That's the English, that's the Greek word. 
two words. The first one is to look away. The second one is now look at what you want to look. So many things to, to look. Your eye sees many things. A lot of times sees just happen. As long as you have eyes, you just see. You don't need to. You only need to be in the place to see certain things. You need to walk past some temples to see certain things. Yeah, but when you look, then you will see. Ah, that's deliberate, isn't it? So, too many distractions, so many fears, so many worries. It says, look away from them and look unto Jesus. Forget the person who has never, all those who have never made it before in that same route. Is that what he's telling you to look at? Or everybody is making it, only me. I'm not asking you to look at all those who are making it either. Look at me. Is there that wait upon the Lord? Remember, just two examples as I close. The beginning of this covenant that we are all running and we are enjoying and we are living as it were. You say, where? Oh, it started with Abraham now. It's the covenant of grace and faith. What did Abraham do to be chosen? What did you do to be chosen? Ephesians 1, 3 makes it clear. 3 and 4, I say you are chosen before the foundations of the world. Why don't you enjoy what is true about you? Why don't I begin to enjoy in a new dimension what is so true about me? He chose me not because I was better than anybody or I'm smarter. So why don't you just relax and enjoy? Why don't you just relax in this God that chose you? If he chose you when you couldn't qualify yourself, why don't you relax and let him keep on choosing? Look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. That you are getting to next year in the name of Jesus is not questionable. You didn't say amen. I say in the name of Jesus, it's not questionable, and you kept quiet. Ah, let nobody keep quiet. I say in the name of Jesus, it's not questionable. Amen. Uh, uh, <laughs> say those that trust in the Lord will be like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved. As the mountain surrounds Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people. Says the rod of the wicked has no landing place. See, the rod of the wicked will not rest on the lot of the righteous. I will not dip my hand into iniquity. Open your mouth and declare. Glory be to God in the highest. You know what that means? No matter what the devil throws, no matter who is throwing it, no landing place. Go back in the name of Jesus. Pastors have been praying it for some time. We've been praying it. We've been praying it for you and for ourselves. So, what am I saying about that? Genesis. He took a lot along. A lot of times I run into trouble because I'm telling the truth. Because I'm thinking, no, let me show love here. Can you show love outside the Holy Spirit? We make mistakes. Love is the fruit of the spirit. You see, blatant compromise. They say they are showing love. Which love? So it's love to steal for somebody else. How can you say that's love? I just felt pity for him. I had to steal for him. I just felt so bad for him. I went to sleep with him. What are you talking about? God said, take your wife and go. He took Lot along. I said, God, God had no plans if Lot had been left behind. The greatest trouble I've seen in my life was I thought I was showing love. I'm not joking. I'm not exaggerating. He's hearing. Anyway, so that created trouble. Big trouble that if he didn't apply wisdom, love is. You have lost too much. He said, Lord, take whatever you want. The land is before you. 
When you don't know the source of a thing, you will do. Peter said, this side. In Genesis chapter 13, verse 14. Quick, 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 quick. Glory be to God in the highest. Oh, my, help me now, fast. 14. Say it. 14. No, you, you, remove this from my time. Genesis 13, 14. Genesis 13, full stop. Verse 14, full stop. And the Lord said to Abraham, watch this. After all the troubles that Lord and his people caused. Has separated from him. Lift up what? And do what? That's it. His, his restoration began with what? Who asked him to look? That's what I'm going to take there. Okay. Look. Eyes now. And look. From the place. It does not matter where you are today. Will you look? Come on, church. These remaining two days of this year. Will you look? In the name of Jesus. Say, I will look. Now you know, what to, you know how to look? Look away from the problem. Look away from the hazard. Look away from the fear. Look away from the worries. Look unto what? Jesus. So you look away to look. That means that you stop worrying. You start trusting. Put it back. I think I'll stop there. Uh -huh. Lift your eyes now and look from where you, from the place you are. From the place you are. From the place you are. From where you are now. Look. You know what I mean? Stop looking at the things that surround you. Those who are swearing, those who are casting spell, those look out to Jesus. He's the father of spirits. Uh, from where you are. Northward, southward, anywhere you look to Alabama. Just look. And what are you looking for by looking? I'm looking for Jesus. The earth is the loss and the fullness there of the world and all that. He's one of the cut twenty thousand hills. You see, I see the gold is his. See, if I were hungry, will I ask you? Looking unto Jesus, the author. Remember, by looking, he guarantees your destination. Glorious destination. I leave the rest for another time. Shall we rise? So you are singing, you are dancing because you are looking into the new year. Ah. Oh, there's one song we say, You will see. God said, as far as your eyes can see. That God will help me to look, to look, to look, regardless of what me look, just looking and looking and looking and looking. Glory be to God in the highest. I have another very solid example in the Old Testament, but I'll let it pass. 
in the name of Jesus. Father, I take all the glory. So there's this something that God is about to show you this year. Something that you will be, uh -uh, and you'll be gliding like this. Into this coming year, in the name of Jesus. If you had to watch out, amen, 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 amen. Come on, somebody help me give him praise, give him honor. Begin to thank him for 2023. Oh, yes. Begin to thank him for 2023. For your spouse, for your children, for your health, for your finances, for your ministry. Yeah. For your local assembly, for the body of Christ, for Nigeria. Begin to thank him for glory. Glory, 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 Lord. Ha. We give you glory, Jesus. Glory, glory, Lord. You are Lord the mighty God. God. Woo, give him praise. praise. <laughs> message the first Thursday of 2023 in the name of Jesus <laughs> ah, if you get if you understand what I'm saying come on give the Lord a good shot hey 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 and then your testimonies will be double between now and then testi uh -uh. Did you hear me? Tell three, four people, say, so that when I'm standing there, you remember I told you. Tell them. So that you remember I told you. Tell them. In the name of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood of Jacob. The blood of Jacob. Shakata. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, take all the glory. Thine is the kingdom. Hallelujah. Thine alone is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, and it's forever. I will give you all glory here today in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'll see you next Thursday. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. With bigger testimonies. In Jesus' name. With the type of sentence that you write, people say, Ara. That is wonder. Ah, that song we used to sing. On Sheki Saloni. Shall we share the grace? Remember, you are singing into the new year. We are dancing to the new year. In the name of Jesus. Any hindrance, we go back to sender. In the name of Jesus. Did you hear me? I said going back to sender. In the name of Jesus. I said back to sender. In the name of Jesus. Now the last word, I am singing into next year. I am dancing into next year. I'm rejoicing into next year. In the name of Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy shall all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. So sin shall not have dominion over me. Because the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside of me. And it quickens my mortal bodies to the glory of his holy name. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful 
New Year celebration. By the way, we are fasting and praying. We started today. So today, 9 to 10, join us on Zoom. Please display the details there for them quickly. Mm. We'll be praying 9 to 10. Join us. Just today, tomorrow, the next, the, 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 the 31st, we'll all be here in Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you.